Hello viewers, welcome to Harika's Home Cooking. Today I am going to show you how to make mutton chitnad. So without any ado, let's go quickly into your recipe and see how we are going to make it. It's very easy and a quick recipe. So I am just starting by cooking the mutton in the pressure cooker. So I have taken a pressure cooker, added 1 tablespoon of oil and I am adding 1 kg of mutton which is already cleaned and washed and then I'm adding a little bit of turmeric powder and I'll also add one and a half cup of water to it and close the lid and cook it until seven whistles. So uh, in my pressure cooker, which I'm used to it, I know how many uh, whistles I do. So you please prefer your pressure cooker. After pressure cooking on into seven whistles, I kept it aside to make it cool and let's go into the next ingredient which is spice powder which is the main ingredient for this so I'm adding one tablespoon of cumin seeds one tablespoon of dhania seeds which is called coriander seeds and a half tablespoon of fennel seeds one tablespoon of black peppercorns and three dry red chilies I use very less because my chilies are very spicy you can add according to your spice levels then I'm gonna add two green cardamoms and one inch cinnamon stick and two black cloves and dry roast them until you get a very good aroma from it you can feel the aroma once it's cooked so dry roast it until you see the golden color on them and cook it in a very low flame we don't want to over, uh, burn the spices so once the spices are done, make it cool and then blend it in the mixer. So I'm blending it here in my mixer jar and the spice powder is ready. And now let's take a pan and add 6 to 7 tablespoons of oil to it. I'm adding very little bit of oil because I don't, we don't need much oil. So you can add if you want some more and then add the onions thinly sliced onions i'm using around one medium sized onion for this recipe and for this amount of mutton and fry the onions into golden color or translucent and i'm also adding one stem of curry leaves and also two red chilies dried red chilies and fry the onions until they are golden brown once they turn a little bit of golden brown add the ginger garlic paste I'm adding two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste and mix it all together and cook it until the raw smell of ginger garlic is totally disappeared so mix it and once the ginger garlic paste is cooked well we are going to add the cooked mutton and don't add too much water in the mutton because we don't want the excess water and the flavor of the mutton to be gone in the water so we are going to use the water later don't drain that water don't throw throw them away so keep it keep the water aside we're going to use it later so now i added all my cooked mutton in it and kept the water aside mix the onions and the mutton properly together then we are going to add all our dry spices in it so I'm starting to add my dry spices so I'm adding one tablespoon of paprika powder or Kashmir red chili this is just for giving good color to the curry and then I'm adding salt according to your taste you can add according to your taste then turmeric powder this is like around a half tablespoon then I'm adding these spices which we already roasted and grind mixed it uh, and then I'm adding dhania powder half tablespoon of dhania powder and half tablespoon of jeera powder because as we already added the cumin seeds and the coriander seeds we are not adding too much of the spice powder in it so I'm just only adding half tablespoon of dhania powder and half tablespoon of cumin powder and then mix it all together properly and then add the water which we left the, which is called as mutton stock which we used for cooking the mutton I told you to keep it aside which we are going to use it now 
so we are not going to use plain water anymore this chicken this mutton stock is right enough for cooking this mutton so i'm only adding half of that water and keeping the rest of the water to use it later again and now after adding this water give it a good mix and then close the lid and cook it for like two minutes or so and make sure you're keeping the flame low you don't want to burn the bottom so mix it well and just close the lid and cook it for two minutes after two minutes your mutton looks like that so i'm adding the rest of the water also now and again giving it a good mix and again closing the lid and cooking it for one to two minutes until the water is totally evaporated so now again i'm closing my lid and cooking it for two more minutes after two minutes you can see the texture is like that but still we are making the fry so we wanted the rest of the water to get evaporated so to get my water evaporated easily i'm taking out my lid and cooking it again for around 5 minutes after 5 minutes your fry consistency should be like this so this is the time which is ready almost to off the stove we don't want to make it more dry it's like a semi dry consistency so my all the water is got evaporated and you can check your spice levels now if you want any more like uh, any more salt or any more spicy then you can just add at this point of time and then give it a good mix and you can off the stove and it's ready to serve now so you can enjoy this with your chapatis rice whatever it is amazing my family loved it i hope you will love it too so please do try this and let me know how it did turned out for you and please like share